About a week ago, uh, John McCain and Barack Obama both went to Southern California to Rick Warren, uh, the author of Purpose Driven Life, his big megachurch, Saddleback, and he hosted this forum where they would talk about matters of faith and politics, you know, why they wanted to be president, their vision for the future of America. And what I took a look at were their answers to one particular question, he asked both of them this question, which is, of the existing judges on the Supreme Court, who would you not have nominated? So McCain's answer was that he would not have appointed the forward liberals who are on the court, which is uh, Stevens, Souter, Ginsburg, and Breyer. Now this is, this is like a really pandering answer because here's the great maverick U.S. Senator who as a senator voted to confirm three of these four individuals. Stevens is the only one he didn't vote to confirm and that's just because Stevens is nominated to the Supreme Court you know, two decades before McCain is a senator. So if, he, if McCain cared so much about these uh, liberal judges, you know, where, is, where was his outrage um, over the past 10 years or more? It means it's pretty clear that McCain, you know, he's running for president, obviously. He needs to appeal to conservative voters. He needs to show them that, yeah, he's, you know, he's soft on immigration, he's soft on torture, in their opinion, but this is a guy who's going to appoint conservative judges. So now McCain suddenly cares about who sits on the Supreme Court. And these judges who were no problem for him before, these justices, are now a big problem for him. It's a very pandering answer. Barack Obama gets the same question. And his response which um, also is quite clearly pandering to his base, also, in my opinion, was extremely revealing, which is that Clarence Thomas, that's, that's who he starts with. He would not have nominated Clarence Thomas to the Supreme Court. And the reason he gives is that Thomas at the time, 1991, was not a strong enough thinker or jurist to, uh, to hold that position. Now, th what does this sound like? I was just like, let's think about this for a second. This sounds a lot like the classic argument against affirmative action which is that an underqualified applicant gets the position, they get the job because of their race, religion, or gender. Now, Clarence Thomas, in 1991, was obviously qualified to sit on the Supreme Court. The American Bar Association, they, they rated him qualified for the position. They do that for every presidential nominee. This is a guy who went to Yale Law School. This is a guy who had been a U.S. Uh, District Court judge. He's clearly qualified at the time. But more than that, he's been on the Supreme Court for more than a decade now. Whether you agree with him or not, he's a very conservative judge. He makes no secret about that. I mean, I personally don't agree with many of his decisions. But whether you agree with Thomas or not, he's clearly qualified to sit on the Supreme Court. He's proven himself a capable justice. So wh why is Barack Obama bringing up this decade-old um, assertion, a demonstrably false assertion, that, uh, that Clarence Thomas wasn't, wasn't capable, wasn't up, was basically wasn't up to the job at the time. It's clear that Barack Obama, he's pandering to his base. John McCain was pandering to his base. Bo both of these guys, you know, we have the maverick, we have the candidate of change and hope we can believe in, and they're both pandering. They're both doing what politicians do every election, and we shouldn't be fooled by the flowery rhetoric that they're both also trying to give us.